Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at variables and we are going to look at actually setting and allocating some story space for data that we already know a value for, so for initialized data. So the general format of creating a variable is like this. So if I say var1 colon you know, db, I'll explain what the db part mean in a moment and let's say if I put I'll put a string in here, I'll say hi, and then we'll move this into the ETX register. So we'll say var1, and then we also need to move into the EDX register, the actual length of what we're printing, or how much we're printing. So it happens to be two. There we go, so we got that printing out. So the general format is the variable name, the amount of space that you want it to take. Again, I want to touch on this in, in a second. Then the actual value itself. So this right here, this is essentially defining a byte. So there are a few different ones. There's db, dw, dd, dq, and dt. So db is define byte, which is, yeah, let me zoom out a bit which is one byte. Remember eight bits in a byte. And DW is defining what's called a word. And in, in stories space, that is two bytes. DD is defining a double word, which is, I think you can guess, because if it's, if it's a double word, and if a word equals two bytes, this is going to be four bytes, it is double it. And let me zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Next is define a quad word. See if you can guess how many bytes this will take. Remember, a word is two bytes. So if it's a quad word, there's four of them, two times eight. I mean, two times four is eight. I gave the answer. It's eight bytes. And finally, DT is defining. 10 bytes. So that's literally just stands for. So this is 10 bytes right here. So if you need to store something that's going to take in you know, a larger than one byte, which is a reasonable amount of space to be fair, then you can use DW, DD, etc. And you just literally change this here. So if I change this one to you know, DD, for example, which is a double word, four bytes, so four times the amount. As you can see, it still works the same in a way. But obviously, we don't need that much storage. So, if I was to run it, and there we go. So, that's really it for allocating storage space for data that we already know the value for. A few things to note is that every single byte of character is actually stored as its, you know, its ASCII value in hexadecimal. Any negative numbers are converted essentially to the two complement representation. But again, we don't really need to concern ourselves with that at the moment. But over the next few videos, we're going to look at variables more and the different ways to create it in the assembly programming language. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.